Oh, hey, everybody. Welcome to Empty Pockets RC. Today is Lori's birthday, and we're going to give her a willy, a wild willy, too. So she's pretty excited about that, and she's going to build it herself, I think. Thanks, Mr. Empty Pockets. What a wonderful birthday present. I love Jeeps. And yes, I'm going to try and build it myself. I'm sure I'm going to need a little bit of help, but I got an expert, so you'll help. Yeah. Hardly an expert, but fumble our way through it. So let's open it up and have a look at uh, the body, because that's our major concern right now, the build will be the build. We'll see what our plans are going to be for the body and look at the instructions and see what we're going to get happen. Hi guys, I got my unboxing started. Um, looking at the body, I think we're going to, I'm going to go with the color that it already is. If I paint it, then when it gets scarred up, it'll show really bad and I know I'll get it scarred up. So we're gonna go with, I'm gonna go with just the green and then I'm gonna detail it out. And to put a black seat and some black fender fair flares and some other details. I'm just gonna dress up the color that it is. And I think it'll be a hard enough paint job to do the little guy that goes in it. That'll be enough painting for me. Now, lucky me, I got chrome wheels, which I think are gonna look awesome. And another luck, um, the gearbox is already assembled with the motor. So that part, I don't have to figure out how to do. It's just, I think, a really good thing about this kit. So we're gonna start off with bag A, and it starts off with assembling the rear arms. And away we go. Hey, so here we are. Um, Rick took the plastic bushings out and put bearings in for me. And then I assembled the rear arms, the wheelie bar, and the uprights. And now we're ready. We're all done with uh, bag A. And we're ready to, and steps one through four. All right. Doing a fine job so far. There you I'm go. gonna blast open bag B and turn the page in the instructions and see what's next. Cool. Okay, so I assembled the front half of the chassis. I added the servo. Looks good. Oh, for bag B. Um, I also built the shocks and mounted them. They look pretty good. They work pretty good. It was pretty easy to do. And now we have the front half. I also built the wheelie, put the wheelie bar on and did the same thing with the shocks on the back half. So that is pretty much bag B. And now I'm on to bag C, where I think we're going to put these together. Okay, it is bag C time, and yes, we are going to put all of the pieces I have here together and actually make something together. Cool. Okay, we finished bag C, which took me from step 13 to 18. We put the chassis together, we added the frame arms, and a um, Gorgeous chrome bumper, chrome frame arms from my husband's metal dump truck. He let me have them, and it looks awesome with the chrome wheels. That's put the posts, the body posts up, and all of the electronics. So now that's all a bag C, and we are on to bag D, which starts out with painting and assembly. Little Willie. So. We will get that started. Hey, I finished my Wild Willy. Turned out pretty good. The body 
art and the finishing the painting was pretty intense. It took a few days, but I'm not very good at painting and it still turned out pretty good, I think, so. Okay, let's uh, take it for a drive and see if it does wheelies like it promised.